Yes, guys, welcome to Gaston's TV. Here is your own host, Evangelist Tao to you. And we are with the new show, Hot Coffee with Tao to you. Something epic, something crazy, amazing is coming on our Gaston's TV. A lot more is coming. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you will be, whenever the video comes there, you, are, you get the notification. God bless you. Your Tao. Yes, welcome to Hot Coffee with Daudi You. Something crazy amazing is back on Gaston's TV. So I want to, I want to, I want you to just take a moment right now. Go make your coffee, and because we're going to talk about the empower by Christ. So go make your coffee, sit and watch the video, watch the episode, and take a coffee with me. So let's, we're going to talk something really amazing uh, with the high energy. We are back on Gaston's TV. We, you know, many people says, okay, we might run. We like doubt is not coming back, and nothing is going to happen. I, I'm telling you, we, we are just we are just praying, we are working, we have a plans, we are doing a lot of things in reality. Plus, we came on our social media now. So we, there's a lot of things coming more on Gaston's TV. So something crazy amazing is already on on Gaston's TV with hot coffee with doubt you. So so get your coffee. Mm. Masarab, that's that's a Tagalog word. Masarab means um, delicious. So here we go. So I'm going to talk about something really amazing. Uh, first thing I'm going to say, uh, this is the Hot Coffee with Daudio. It's a show uh, that is uh, that is something like an empowerment. Now, uh, I had a very special guest here, but uh, he was unfortunately, he was not able to come because of his, uh, uh, he's not feeling well. Uh, emergency you know like we, we live in a physical body so we, we don't judge we just like we, we're gonna pray for our guests also uh, that we get completely healed in Jesus name so uh, but I'm gonna introduce uh, the show it's gonna be the similar with the with the last episodes or last show I had like daily fire show so that's why we have a concept of hot coffee without you something hot something fiery something energetic something because I do believe this is the high energy season this is the end times we have to just you know that's what the Bible talk about in John chapter 10 verse 10 the devil come to steal to kill to destroy but Jesus come to give what life only no Jesus come to give an abundance life high energy is there you have to you have to just see Jesus came to give you abundance life my dear brothers and sisters who are watching me right now I just want to tell you guys that that God has an amazing plan for you God has a plan to give you hope in the future so so when we were preparing for hot coffee with Dao you uh, we pray and uh, we want to we want something uh, me my team want something new uh, in the hot coffee with Dao you so when the guest comes what comes out and a lot of stuff we were we've been thinking a lot we've been talking a lot on that we've been praying a lot so finally we are out it's going to be amazing so i want you to take a moment also uh, go subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed the channel subscribe the channel share with somebody because it's going to be epic it's going to be amazing and you you're gonna you, you you're gonna see something happening over your life this moment when you while watching watching me right now this moment because we we, we are empowered by christ i want to just say that that's what uh, the big thing that uh, that hot coffee without you that brings me out that that, that i want to bring out this show that based on Luke chapter 3 verse 16 that says that John says there you know that I baptize you with the water but the one who comes after me will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire so the Holy Ghost fire we are we are mainly I, I I'm, I'm gonna pray for you guys I have a lot of questions from you guys I'm, I'm gonna talk about those questions also and I'm going to also uh, pray for you guys right now I got a lot of um, like as people get to know that we the show is launched and uh, I, I got a lot a lot of questions a lot of prayer guys we're gonna pray for you but I want to I want to I want to tell you guys this is this is this is your 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 this is your work this is my work we have to do it together for the kingdom of God so how we can reach the souls like we are, we are doing a lot of reality things like a lot of a lot of who said sort of evangelism a lot of a lot of conferences we are doing a lot of stuff so we are really reaching souls already in reality. What about the social thing, social media? Like, can you just imagine there are a lot of, like 24 hours, I see most of the people 24 hours, they are traveling, they are doing whatever, they are just on a social media. They are just on a social media. So, take a moment to share with your friends. Take a moment to share with your family. Because somebody's life is going to be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's life is never going to be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Raporo Sikana Duria. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about, um, um, that this show is more on 
the fire this show is more on we, we, we're not gonna have a hot and mm, other things we're gonna have a hot of atmosphere of the holy ghost fire amen so so remember that it's it's about the holy ghost fire it's gonna we're gonna we, we're gonna have an empowerment uh from christ we, uh, because we are empowered by christ we are set free by christ we are we are we are strong by christ we are uh, strong through christ remember that so i think um uh, though those guests will be coming in coming days we are going to learn from their lives also and for, for sure you're going to learn from your host out the youth too so I'm I, I'm very excited to have the show on Gaston TV again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be on a, a first question that says, um, what empowers you to keep going even through the trials? Oh wow, that's a good question. What empowers you? Now, if you're going through a trials right now, if you're going through a difficulties, if you're going through a problems right now, I just want to tell you what empowers me. What empowers a believer? that says the bible says i can do all things through christ who strengthen us who strengthen me i can do all things for for man it's impossible for god it's possible so remember the fact for for us it could be impossible but for for, for god is possible so so if you want to uh, keep going uh, into your trials when you're going through your trials if you want to be empowered go to the word of god i want to say read the bible read word of god and other than that i, ha- I had my first book uh, uh, that launched already like it's been a year now uh, i'm broken no mess no message you can you can get the copy of it if you're interesting you can get to learn a lot you can get a lot of empowerment being empowered from that also so you can easily uh, go through trials you can pass the trials you can cross the problems because i do believe 2000 years back somebody died on the cross of calvary and took away all our mistakes all our sins all our problems all our sicknesses and we are completely whole in Christ Jesus we are righteous in Christ Jesus amen so let's go for um another question uh that says did you ever speak to god and does he reply okay wow that's a good thing a uh, good thing good thing to good question actually uh if you ask me i speak to god he replies yes the bible says ask me and i will give you the nations so So if if a person is there who send this question and you are just just uh thinking that okay God is not answering your prayer like sometimes we feel also God is not answering our prayer but God has the best for us remember that we are just thinking okay maybe maybe nothing is going to happen in our lives but God has the best God is the best God remember that for God is unchangeable God God has an amazing things planned for your life so when you speak to God when you when you, you know that's what the bible says uh, go to your secret place and ask your father in the secret and he will reward you openly amen ask your father in the secret and he will reward you openly so that's a very very important fact you have to grow in the word of god you have to you know like if you, if you're watching me and you never get the reply of uh, uh of your prayers i tell you it's on the way it's coming to you just keep on believing because your faith can move the mountains the bible tells us this so it's a very important fact uh it's happened with me many times like i speak to god or ask god sometime okay god give it that to me or i want to do that and sometimes things now sometimes things that not work out but that does not mean god is not listening me or god has stopped listening me that does not mean that god is um, god is not just uh focusing on my words no he prioritizes me he he just want to see my faith that's why the bible says your faith can move the mountain so faith can move the mountain speak to your speak to your uh, mountains speak to speak to your problems mountains and they will be removed in the name of jesus christ so 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 no need to take selfies with the mountains speak to it your faith because your faith you can move the mountain ratan or so konodoria so it's happened sometimes okay i speak to god okay and I I never I never see like in the beginning when I was just newly baby born Christian I always think okay maybe God is not looking at me God is not answering God is not listening so my my focus was not only God is not replying my focus was God is not listening so we you might be the one who think sometimes okay you are praying for one thing many times but there is no reply coming up to that coming up to that remember that God has the best for you and he is the he is another man that should lie he is a supernatural God he has the best for your life best for you and he's going to produce best through you from you and he's going to he going to let you shine uh, into the world so trust him that's a very important fact trust when you speak to god trust him he is preparing best for you so that's a very good and then um uh, there is one more question that says 
uh, why should we forgive and like i think it's it's the same question like have uh, have you ever experienced how hard it is uh, how hard it is uh, forgive others or that you will not forgive you or, or though that people will not forgive you okay so i think um, my good friend of mine she's going to answer you you you're going to watch her video right now she's going to answer you about this so so stay tuned yeah yes welcome to hot coffee with Dauda Yup but it's from Denmark so he's not present here but I drink the coffee anyway and Dauda has given me a question about forgiveness if I have any experience with forgiveness that I had to hard times forgive others or they had to forgive me and I think I can best illustrate that of forgiveness by telling you a little example a little story I have experienced from my working life I work in a school I teach the small kids music and Danish Christianity and so on. And lots of years ago, I was teaching a third class, I think it was in music. And we had to change the rooms where, where the teaching was going on because there was some restoration going on. So sometimes we were in that room, sometimes in another room. And the teacher who came after me, he had to find us and run around the school to, to find where is she? Where is Stella with the class? So that was quite annoying, but he grew more and more angry with me and he was uh, angry in on me in front of the whole class and one day he came in through the door and really yelled at me and shouted and say why well, why are you why can you not give me a message where you are and I had to reply I never know where we are and then I replied in a very angry voice too and you are always so angry and naughty too and actually we had some bad words in front of the students so that was not good yeah so a day after two days after i i uh, tried to sort him out find him where he was in another room and i uh, said to him can i speak to you and we went outside in the corridor i said can you forgive me because i also said angry words to you in front of the cheat the other kids we have to to work together so can you forgive me and he could not even look in my eyes. He could not even take my apology, uh, apology uh, to him. He just said, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he went away. So he didn't say, I forgive you. Or he didn't say, yes, I'm also sorry for shouting at you. But you know, <clears throat> I had done my part. And I had peace in that because I could not do anymore. I had asked forgiveness. And if he would not give it or could not talk about this, this difficult topic, then it's not my problem, but his. And then four years later, we had to work again together in a class. And this time, because I have went to him and shown him, I want to, to have a good relationship with you. I want to, to be peaceful to you. We could work together very, very good. Think of if I hadn't not come to him and asked for apology. Think of what would have happened five, four or five years later. That would be have under the surface all the time. So forgiveness, also when it's hard, also when other people will not receive it or give it to you, you go and you ask for it. Then you can do nothing more. And then you are free to move on. And maybe in some years it will turn out that you were right about asking other people for forgiveness so forgive seek them out talk about it the best you can and ask god to guide you when you do it pray for them pray for those who need forgiveness or those who you have you have to go to to ask for forgiveness yes this was my um, small speech about forgiveness i hope you can use it for something god bless you Yes, so as you have seen that, I hope you enjoy that um, uh, forgiveness message, the story, and it's, it's amazing, it's epic. So I'm, I'm going to tell you, like we live by faith, not by sight. As, as, as the second Corinthian verse, uh, chapter 5, verse 7 says, we live by faith, not by sight. So remember that we will live by faith. We do things by faith. Faith. And I want to add something uh, uh, to that question that was there uh, that says, uh, uh, did you ever speak to God and God don't go you never heard this reply or whatever so I want to add there the faith is very very major thing because we live by faith wherever we ask we believe 
will receive it. That's what that was. That's what the uh, the Bible says. Believe you will have it, and that's what the, in Second Corinthians uh, chapter twelve verse um, uh, nine says. Uh, Apostle Paul is there is there is a great mention there that says, "My grace is sufficient for you." His grace, His grace, God's grace is sufficient for us. Remember that. So uh, even in our problems, trials, His grace is there. He is there. He's available. That's what the Matthew chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 11, uh, verse uh, Matthew chapter 11. If you if you go and have a look in Matthew chapter 11, verse 20, uh, 28, it says, uh, "Come to me, and I will give you the rest." All the people with the bondage, all the people with the troubles, all the people with the uh, uh, situations, worse situations, uh, sickness, whatever, come to me, and I will give you the rest. What a wonderful Jesus we have! Just think about it. what a wonderful Jesus we have. So I have a very very um, uh, beautiful young. Uh, guest, uh, she's also going to be talking to you guys. So let's let's ask her some questions that are, we have already. So it's going to be epic because she is going to take the place uh, of the guest that was not able to come because of he's not feeling well. So she's taking the place of the guest already. So we're going to ask her. So stay tuned. Yes. So guys, here we go. Uh, we have the guest already with us. Um, her uncle's supposed to be here, but she's there already. So let's welcome Clea to a rapid fire round. So we are on the rapid fire round. That's a very, very favorite round in the last show. And even in the new show, I put that round because it's it's what people want. Okay, so we're going to have some question for you. Yes. And um, okay, it's going to help some people a lot because it is coming from people. What do you value most in your daily life? Uh, what do I value most? Yeah. Of course, I value most uh, the word of God. Uh huh. Yeah, because um, it really helps me and guide me in every aspect of my life, especially as a student. Mm -hmm. It really encouraged me and, you know, to strive more in life. That's it. So the Word of God is very, very uh, the value thing you should have in your life too. So let's go to our second, second question that says, what is your favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse is um, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Wow, very nice. Yeah, verse. it's stated there that... Um, for I know, for the, I know plans. the plans I have pre declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Hope and a future. God has a plan to give you hope and a future. So stay tuned. Keep trusting the Lord. Here you go. Now I have this third question. Like I want to say, like as you're beautiful, I, I, love, I know you're fan following. And you know, when you put just a picture, you get hundreds of likes. You know, like sometimes I need I need to have hours to have 100 likes. But she get it like as she posts. Anyway, so as you're beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful of heart and like, uh, the like physically ev everything like beautiful heart mind and everything but what if this happened to you this incident happened to you what if he or she tells you <coughs> that they do not like you what you will be your reaction words to those people well um because there are some maybe yeah. beautiful but we're handsome boy watching or beautiful girl watching and maybe they think okay uh, rejection is not the part there so if ever you get the rejection in that sense what will be your reaction? Well, as long as I'm being true to myself and this is really me, then mm -hmm. I'll just accept what they said, but I will not change because this is really who I am and I don't have to do things or to change just to impress people. Mm. That's it. Amen. So that's good. Uh, so you want to, you want to, you, I, I'm going to say that because um, no need to change yourself to, to, for the people. I'm going to add something because that's what the Bible says. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only the begotten son that whosoever believes shall not be perished but have everlasting life. So he loves you. His love is uh, never ending love. So he loves you. Focus Jesus and rest come later. Okay, so last question I have for you. What is your favorite gospel song? Sing it please for us or dance for us anything you want well my favorite gospel song is um, broken vessels broken yeah. vessels okay, can you sing for us or dance for us what do you want oh, can you sing with me okay let's sing together okay I'm not good at singing okay let's do it uh, okay amazing the grace how sweet the sound mm -hmm. save a rich it's like, like me, me. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, that sounds okay, nice. Really. Yeah. So, uh, what is the meaning of like broken vessel song? Like, uh, why why you like this song? Why why is favorite for you? I like that song because um, it's like mm. it's like it's the story of my life. Like, uh -huh. it really touched my heart mm -hmm. the first time I heard that song. Uh huh. 
you know, I will tell you the next time I oh, next be time invited. Also, yes. Oh, yeah, so for sure. Next time you have to invite her. So put your comment down okay. if you want her to see on the next episode. The reason. Yeah. And uh, then now let's go to the game. Here you go, where you win and lose. It's a game like it's only in hot coffee without you now there and the new show. So the game is this. You have to speak in Punjabi. I'm going to tell you the Punjabi word. Okay. And you're going to speak in Punjabi. And if you speak fluently like twi thrice time, like three times, okay, we're going to give you the gift from our show. If you're not, then you have to give us $20. So, okay, let's see. The word is this. Kacha papar paka papar. Kacha papar paka papar. What is it? Kacha papar paka papar. Kacha paper paka paper. You have to speak fast. Kacha paper paka paper. No, the thing is, if you win, you're gonna get something from our show. Yeah. If you yeah. lose, you have to pay us twenty dollars. Yeah. So. So is it right? Kacha paper paka paper. Yeah, that's right. But you have to speak fast. Okay. Okay. Kacha paper paka paper. No, no. You have to speak fast, like, like this. Kacha paper paka paper. Kacha paper paka paper. Like this. Speak okay, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Speak fast. Kacha paper paka paper. Kacha paper. I wanted to. Oh guys. It's really hard. No, it's not hard. It's easy. Let's try once time. Kacha paper paka paper. Like really easy. Kacha. Kacha paper paka paper. Oh, kacha paper paka paper. Kacha paper paka paper. Kacha paper paka paper. Speak out. Kacha paper. Kacha paper. Okay, anyway. Okay, I just have. So, so you are gonna get something from our show, and I think I just present to our guests also. And here you go. We have uh, something. Oh, I have a something, gift. Uh, it's only in our new show. We are yeah. doing this nowadays. Okay, so here you go. That's and uh, you can even open it if you want in front of people. So yeah, they can I'm see what is that. It. So that's okay. fine. You can, uh, it's a secret, okay? Okay, it's secret. No problem. <laughs> but you will get the picture. Um, I think on Facebook, God Sense TV. You can just uh, go follow us there, and you can get the photo of the gift. What is the gift there? So yeah. anyway, so do you want to say something else? That's it. Okay. So, uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe the channel. So you're gonna say that to our audience and to your people, like all those people, like you want. Yeah, share. subscribe God's Night TV. Okay. Um, thank you. And follow Daud Ayub in Instagram. Oh wow! Thank you. That's a good thing. Yeah. Thank you so much. So do that. God bless you. Thank you, Claire, for coming to our yeah. show. God bless you. So happy to see you. And next time, I'm looking forward to have a full episode with you. And something crazy amazing we're gonna bring for the kingdom of God. Thank you guys and stay tuned with us. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. And this is a new show already there. Wait is over. We are coming with the second episode very soon. Damn. Bye. Bye. Good. That's good. Good to go.